Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading. This is going to be for Taurus, uh, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2023. What are they not telling you? What are they hiding from you? So we're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of. We're going to see what they're hiding from you, and then we'll finish off the reads to see if this person will come clean. Apply this to your own new situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when i go live taurus all right let's get started tell me about taurus here the person that taurus is thinking of or dealing with what is this person not telling taurus what is this person not telling taurus for march 2023 sun moon rising venus signs for taurus we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with um, strong Leo energy here, a fire sign. You might have fire energy in your chart. Okay, whoever this is, this person is lusting over you. Okay, this person is like really sexually attracted to you. Okay, um, I feel like this person wants to get in bed with you and throw you around with a ton of pentacles here. You know, it seems like this person wants it all here with you. Okay. The thing is, I feel like this person is not ready for that yet. Like, I feel like they can see prosperity here with you, but I, I'm feeling like with the Queen of Wands here in the Strength card, it's more so that this person is in this energy of kind of like going with the flow, you know, getting to know you. You know, it's kind of like getting under someone to get over someone because I feel like they went through... Uh, a separation recently okay uh you know this person could have been divorced or just recently broken up with somebody all right we have the seven of cups and the six of pentacles in the reverse you know when it comes to this connection you know this person doesn't really have anything to give there's no equal give and take here like with the seven of cups i feel like you know this person's really attracted to you this person can see the potential of things turning into uh, something more it, possibly in the future but with the seven of cups here i feel like this person's definitely exploring other options here okay so i'm gonna the queen of wands here you know i do feel like eventually in the future they will stop exploring options we have uh the ace of uh pentacles here and the queen of wands and then we have the five of swords and the strength card here you know, I do feel like this is an individual that's kind of like talking themselves out of it. They're kind of like gaslighting themselves, but this is a strong indication. But I, I feel like this person wants it all here with you because I do feel like there's like a deep emotional connection here. But with the King of Swords here and the Ace of Cups, I do feel like this person's a little closed off. They have strong feelings here for you. They're in love with you. Or that you could be in love with this person. Justice and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you know what? Eventually, you know, if someone here is exploring options, okay, that is going to stop. Yeah, that is going to stop. There's going to be commitment here. Yeah, there's a sense of moving forward and things will start to balance out. Things might be a little bit wonky right now. Things might be in a place where, okay, you know, I've met this person. I've been dealing with them for quite a bit, but I don't know or where it's going. But it seems like you might have to go through these hurdles with this individual in order to get to that stable place here, Taurus. Uh, will this person come clean towards Taurus? Will this person come clean towards Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus for March 2023. But, you know, I do feel like this person's going to tell you, tell you what's going on. Yeah, I do feel that. Let's see. We have the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Wands, the Hangman, the Three of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. I mean, this person wants it all. They do. But I feel like this person's dealing with some sort of heartbreak situation. It could also be that this person might have had, had like some sort of health emergency and they're trying to recover from that. You know, so we have the Empress here and the Ace of Swords. Okay, we have three out of the four aces here. So, you know, what I'm getting here is that this person sees growth and expansion here with you. And I feel like this person is willing to, at some point 
they're willing to come together here with you, okay? Um, yeah, but for now, it seems like they're going through something. Uh, the Six of Wands here and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. You know, they have one foot in the door, one foot out the door. You know, I feel like you both are very attractive individuals. Uh, 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 incredibly attractive, um, uh, Taurus. Three of Wands and Three of Pentacles. So I do feel a sense of like, this individual will tell you. Like, yeah, especially with the Ace of Swords here. And, uh, you know, there's going to be like uh, planning, planning for f planning for the future here. Or if, if you guys have talked about it, you guys are going to try and materialize what you guys talked about. All right. Tell me about the Empress here. Why is the Empress here? And we have the King of Wands. We have the King to Queen of Wands. That's a true pair. Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. I mean, the attraction that you guys have for each other is undeniable here, I feel. There's a lot of fire here. Yeah, there's just a lot of heat, a lot of passion here. But yeah, I do feel like both of you guys, especially the King of Pentacles here and the Empress, there's a sense of wanting, you know, commitments, you know, wanting long term here. The Six of Wands. We have the Five of Cups, the uh, Hangman, and the Eight of Wands here. I mean, I do feel like if they, if I feel like the person that you're dealing with here, I feel like they're, they're going to regret not saying this, but I feel like this person will tell you. Yeah. Or that they're going to regret not telling you this sooner, but everything is going to happen in divine timing here. Yeah. Everything is going to happen in divine timing and you're going to get, and you're going to get your wish fulfillment here, uh, Taurus. So the wheel of fortune here and the, uh, Hierophant here, Taurus energy. Yeah, it's just going to take a little work and I, I just feel like, you know, I just feel like, um, Taurus, I just feel like it's really important at this time regarding this person that you're dealing with here. It's important to be patient because it seems like they're going through something here. Uh, perhaps they suffered a loss, you know, uh, not only romantic, like, like I wouldn't, you know, not just romantically, uh, but it maybe someone here lost a family member, you know, um, and I feel like they could be acting out in a way where, you know, they just, you know, are behaving the way that they're behaving. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm seeing, I, I'm feeling like this is happening in divine timing here. Things will come together when it's supposed to. But yeah, there is a little hurdle that you have to go through because this person that you're dealing with, they're going through something. Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups here, Ace of Swords. You know, I do feel like there is, you know, a potential for prosperity here. I mean, we have the Ten of Pentacles and there will be happiness here. Okay. With the uh, Nine of Cups. All right. So, um, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.